In 1574-75, a group of refugees from Flanders, from what is currently Belgium, came to England. They came as a refuge from the persecution that had cost them loved ones in Belgium. One of them had lost a wife. I mean, they came to England and they were seeking a place where they could just be. There were about 25 of them who formed uh, the first Mennonite church in England. And they also drew to them uh, an indeterminate number of English people. We only know the initials of one of them, S.B. And he said he was very drawn to them because they seemed to be people who followed the life of Christ most nearly. And he was known to be a conscientious objector. And then they spoke about a number of other households who were drawn to them. So there was this small community meeting in London. And on Easter Sunday in 1575, there was a knock at the door. And the sheriff and the bailiffs came in and they arrested the lot of them. For the next four months, so they underwent torture, they underwent uh, long periods of isolation, they underwent vermin, systematic, uh, the dirtified of these people. People would come in dressed in their finery to impress them with their learning, to impress them with their power, to call upon them to convert. One person came in and laid hands on them to exorcise them. Ten of them recanted. But ten women didn't. Five men didn't. And they persisted. Eventually, the women were told that they were going to be executed, were taken to a special prison, and then, instead, they were tied to a cart and were whipped to the nearest ship where they could then be deported. And so this left five men. Of those five men, one then died of illness in prison. That left four. And of those, they were also told that they were going to be executed at any point. The Bishop of London came and tried to convert them. And he, at one point, said, well, I will no longer count you to be members of my church. And they said, what do you mean, members of your church? We've never been one with you. And he said, but everybody in England is a member of my church. Well, these people were pioneers of a voluntary form of Christianity. And the clash was very clear. And the bishop was threatened, and Queen Elizabeth was threatened. And so from the highest place in the land, Elizabeth, to whom an appeal had gone, an appeal by John Fox, the martyrologist, Elizabeth wouldn't even touch the thing because she felt it was dirty. The order came out that these people would be executed, but only two of them. And so two of them in late July, that's about after four years of going through all this, were taken out and were executed. Hendrik Tervoort, Jan Peters. Um, Tervoort, 35 years old, Peters, 50. Peters, his first wife was killed in, in Ghent, leaving to his second wife nine children, and his second wife's first husband had also been killed. And so they were burned at Smithfield, and they were burned in late July of 1575. The other two eventually were released and deported.